Welcome to the Empowered Podcast, episode 25. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Empowered Podcast. I'm your host, Ellery Wells, and this is the podcast designed to help you on a weekly basis develop, grow, and overcome the challenges that you are facing in your life. Today's podcast is a solo show, and I wanted to share what I've been up to over the last couple days and then a lesson about how you should judge yourself or Rather, how you should not judge yourself. So today is Wednesday, uh, what is this, Uh, March the 5th, I think it is. And yesterday, I went up to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Addison specifically. And again, Addison is where the podcast movement is going to be happening, that conference in August. So I highly check. Uh, check that out. Uh, but I was in Addison to hear my friend James Kinson speak at uh, podcast or PodCamp Dallas. Uh, I think that's one of Gary Leland's uh, organizations. But we were at an office building from about 6.30 to about 9.30, 9.45 just hanging out. But in the middle of that, James was doing a talk about how to get a list podcast people or a list guests to be uh, on their on his podcast, and I, I wanted to go and support James. I really enjoy what he's doing. You know, he does the Cash Car Convert podcast, and uh, I highly I've mentioned a few times here on the show. James is a personal friend of mine, and I would highly recommend that you check that out and CashCarConvert.com. But it it really brought a lot of people together. I think there were maybe 30 or 40 people in the room all wanting to learn how to be better podcasters. And this was really the first experience or, or first chance that I'd had since leaving New Mid... Jeez, uh, can't talk. I, it's happened a couple days ago where I was just in the middle of uh, talking to somebody and I just couldn't get a, a solid sentence out. But it was the second time or the, the most... The next time, I guess I should say, that I had had an opportunity to hang out in person with other like-minded people, you know, people who are entrepreneur-focused, people who are wanting to do online business, people who are wanting to do blogging and podcasting full-time, make a business from it, start coaching businesses, things like that. And it just reaffirmed how critical it is and how important it is to be connected to people who want to do similar things to what you want to do. You know, oftentimes, you know, we get this idea that what we want to do is unique. You know, we're the only person wanting to build an online business or we're the only person that wants to build this type of online business. Or maybe it's a physical store. You want to open up a daycare or a wine store or something like that. And you think no one has ever faced a challenge quite like this before. And that's completely untrue. And you find that, you find that there are other people going through the same or very similar things to what you're going through once you meet them face to face and meet the make these personal connections. So again, I would highly suggest that you do that. If you're in the Austin area and want to grab coffee, lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever it is, any way that I can help you, uh, just feel free to send me an email, Ellery at empowering the 80 percent.com you can you know check me out on facebook or connect with me send me a message facebook.com slash empowering the 80 percent or you can find me on twitter at empowered ellery you can find all of those note uh links sorry all of those links at empowered podcast Dot com And since you're listening to the Empowered Podcast, maybe EmpoweredPodcast.com is, is the easiest one of, of those things to uh, remember. And if at all possible, I'll meet you and we can just you know have a, a bite to eat, grab something to drink, and uh, just discuss what you're going through. And we can help each other out in that way. But what I, I mainly wanted to talk about today was an experience that I had this morning before... Um, before driving back to Austin again, I was on the northeast, very northeast side of Dallas up in the Allen area. This meeting was in Addison and I have a few college friends that there's three of them actually, two of them are attorneys. One of them owns a real estate company and who'll actually be on the show, but they have offices in Richardson 
and I wanted to connect with them. I hadn't seen them in four or five years. Excuse me, and I wanted to connect with them, see what they were up to, and um, you know, just just see them again. You know, they're old friends from college. One of them was actually a roommate of mine, and uh, so again, just wanted to connect. And so I went over to one of the guy's offices, and he's I don't know, maybe six or seven months younger than I am, and uh, I'm. 30. So (laughs) that's out there. So anyway, I'm 30. He's probably 30 by now as well. And he is a partner in a law firm, him and and this other college friend of mine. And I walk in, one of them is in court and my roommate's there and they've got this cool office in this office building. They're on the first floor and they've got, I don't know, five or six rooms. They have um, an admin assistant, you know, checking the or greeting people at the door. They've got a conference room and it's full of books and the white whiteboard and everything like that. And it's what you would what you would imagine, you know, if you went to law school and you're like, I'm going to start my own practice. They they have that. They're off a major interstate. They've got you know one of those fancy looking buildings. They've got the assistant to you know take their calls, greet people at the door. And I, I was even told that they might even have a few paralegals there. And it's just, I, I was kind of jealous. You know, I, I've got the, the home office. I love my home office. I've got my monitors here in front of me, and I got the technology around. I can do my podcast. And honestly, I can work from anywhere. Anywhere there's an internet connection, I can record and upload podcasts. I can write blog posts. I can connect to some of my other businesses. I can do all of that online. But, you know, if you're going through law school and you think I'm going to open up my own firm or my own practice, it would be exactly like what these guys have. And, you know, I was kind of envious of that. I was like, why do what what do I need to do to get there, even though I don't necessarily want physical offices, but they had something to show for it. There was there was a presence. They had an address and things like that. And. I had a great time talking with with my friend, ex roommate, and you know he was about he had actually had somebody in his his waiting room waiting to talk to him, you know, do his attorney thing. And so I left and I went over to my friend Todd's office. He's got the the Todd Tremonti home selling team, and again he'll be on a podcast here in a few weeks. And he's got office. He's got people working for him, agents. I mean, he's got an off a couple offices in, in his big office that he subleases to people. And he's, you know, his wife was there and they just had a family business and he's doing fantastic things up in the Dallas Fort Worth area, just selling all kinds of homes, which if you are selling a home and I, if I was up there, I would be using him a hundred percent. I don't get paid to endorse him, but I know Todd, I know what he stands for. I know what kind of man he is, and I highly recommend that you check out uh, Todd Tremonti. And I'll put a link in the uh, the show notes so I don't get it wrong here on on the audio podcast part. But I'll put a link there. And I, if you're buying or selling, I would definitely recommend that you check out Todd and, and his team. But again, you know they've got nooks for all of their agents and computers, and you know they had just gotten out of of their early morning huddle and I, I kind of let myself in the door was the door was open and um you know I was like where is everybody but I was there pretty early and they were just getting out of of this team huddle Todd was there leading his team giving giving them encouragement and you know whatever he does in these in these team meetings but he had I keep hitting my microphone sorry about that but he had you know, the same thing that my attorney friends had, something to show for all of their work. You know, both of them, or all three of them rather, have been in business for four or five years, much longer than I have. And I kept, I came away from it, not jealous isn't really the word, but it was kind of like, man, I wish I could have that too. Or, or wouldn't it be cool if you know, have you ever had one of those moments? Like, wouldn't it be cool if I had this? Or wouldn't it be cool if I had started my business five years ago or six years ago or whatever it is? You know, if, if you've ever had something like that, you may know know what I'm talking about or, or maybe what I'm thinking at, at this moment. But that's what I was thinking when I left, when I left uh, the real estate office and the attorney office. And I'm up there getting... My wife's 
Ashley's uh, rings cleaned at Robin's Brothers. And I'm thinking about what what just happened, what the last 45 minutes was like. You know, I spent driving around, seeing these offices, seeing people I went to college with, people I went to school with, was roommates with, and what they're up to today. And I was uh, an old saying, you know, something that we talk about in my mastermind group came up several times and it it actually wasn't my first thought so i'm not i'm not wise enough to say uh you know don't have this self-doubt you know it's something that i face and was facing just just a few hours ago i just got back to austin maybe about about 45 minutes ago and uh the the point is don't judge your beginning against somebody else's middle and i'm going to say that again so that you hear me Clearly, don't judge your beginning against someone else's middle. And that simply means when you're starting out and you look at people who are doing what you want to do or people who are just a few steps ahead, you're going to, you might just like me go into your, your peer's office or an old college buddy's office and like, well, why he's got this. Why don't I have this? And then I started thinking about it. Well, I've I've been full time entrepreneur for less than two months, and they've been full time attorneys and real estate brokers for three or four years at least. And if you you might have had the exact same situation, I'm going to be coaching someone here in just a few hours. We're going to get on a Skype call. And she is several hours away from me. And we're going to talk about very similar things, about getting started, getting unstuck, moving your feet, doing something. But through that whole process, ways that you can, again, not judge your beginning against someone else's middle. And that's the point that I want to drive home today. And the the idea, the mentality that I want you to think about, you know, when you, when you're done with this podcast and the closing music ends, and I love my music, by the way, hope you do too. Um, But when you're sitting there and you're, you've just finished the Empowered Podcast, my voice is no longer in your ear or, or going through your car speakers, and you're thinking about starting something, whether it's starting a blog, a physical store, maybe it's your own podcast maybe it's going back to school you're just, you're wanting to do something and you and you start thinking man i'm just not good enough or i'm just not prepared enough or i'm just not skilled or talented enough i don't have the right knowledge or the right connections i just want you to remember don't judge your beginning to against someone else's middle And that's really all I have for you today. I hope that's encouraging. It was encouraging for me. It kind of took a a burden off of my shoulders. I'm sitting there trying to waiting for Ashley's rings to be cleaned, you know, the regular maintenance and everything. And I'm sitting there thinking, man, I'm just starting. I'm not even two months into this. I I feel like I have a lot to show for these last two months, but I want to do more. And I shouldn't feel bad when I go into the office of some entrepreneurs who've been at it three, four, or five years. And again, I hope that's encouraging to you. If it is, send me a note, Ellery at EmpoweringThe80Percent.com. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, again, the link is Facebook.com slash EmpoweringThe80%. You can catch me on Twitter at empowered ellery and the link for all of this and more is at empoweredpodcast.com thank you for hanging out with me it's about 15 minutes or so and uh, we'll talk to you on the next episode of the empowered podcast i'm your host ellery wells we'll talk to you soon 